We're about to do uh, a paraglide, a bit of paragliding here in Heriko. We're at Eco Land. I am literally pooing my pants right now, but we've got to do it, right? We're in Heriko, we've got to do it. That ain't dangerous, that ain't fun. No, yeah. it's not even dangerous, it's going to be fine. But um, yeah, I'm excited. I've never done uh, paragliding before. What's it called in Spanish? Parapente. Parapente. So we're just about to get our safety brief and Lucy's. Ave Maria, adios. Getting nervous and excited. <laughs> oh my God. I'm going to be flying today, flying yeah, like a eagle. Angelico. Intervista, Lucy, how you Mommy, feeling? Mommy, I'm sorry I never told you, but... <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Mommy, it's safe. It's very safe, Mommy. Lucy, Lucy, entiendes? You best entiendes, boy. You best entiendes, or it could be trouble. Basically, I understand that all I've got to do is run. Like, it's easy. Just run. Run till you get off the cliff edge. But is it, am I going to be like sentada? Yeah, when you're in the air. But I'm not going to be like this. Just at the beginning, just run. Have you tied up your laces? That's where she's going to be running off. My heart is actually going. coffee farm for a coffee tour yeah smell it it smells so fresh oh, it smells smell that coffee absolutely delicious hoy es un día especial con parapente y mucho mucho café <laughs> So we're here at La Nogelia, which is a coffee farm in Jerico, Colombia. And we're just learning about the process of coffee making. Now we're actually going to go out into the coffee fields and get first-hand experience of what's a good coffee bean and a bad one. It starts as a fruit, so you've got to get the red ones, yeah? Not the green ones, not covered in insects. Get the nice, ripe, red coffee fruits and then extract the nice blessed beans. Let's do this thing, yeah? Ready. Not ready. Mira. Beautiful, red, Cafe. ripe coffee. Just penetrating deep through the coffee, through the coffee plantation. Oh, what an experience. Next time I'm back in London and I'm having a right nice coughs, we're going to remember this day in it loose. Oh my God. We're going to think this about the whole wet process the farms <laughs> i spy some red coffee bingo we've been picking the fruit now it's time to grind it <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's been a long long day i've just been picking coffee for about four hours you know didn't come back with much <laughs> that's what she's got so right now we're taking off our little baskets of coffee and we're actually going to grind the coffee. Mucho café. Mucho café. Mira, todo el café que cogimos. There's our coffee. There's our coffee beans. Molido, mira. Lucia. You're working for your coffee today. I'm working hard for this coffee. Ready to um to start the process of fermentation. Mira como sí. queda de sucio. Sí. Y los diferentes y, colores también. Y los variedades del café. So once it's fermented for a couple of days, 
they release this hatch and it comes out here. Once they come out of the funnel, uh, if the sun's um, out and it's very hot, they'll, li they'll leave it out to dry for maybe about two days before it goes out for its final process. ¿Qué es una tolfa? Esto es una tolfa. So, esto se llama tolfa. Esto se llama tolfa. So, at the end of the coffee making process, all the coffee is poured into this tolfa and it goes through a little hole into a machine and then it, all the coffee gets put into bags. Um, one bag alone is like 80 kilograms, which is probably my own weight around that. Nah, probably just under. Just under? <laughs> what do you mean? Pants. <laughs> yes, Lucy. <laughs> Feels like I'm in proper Colombia now, in amongst the coughs. And we're back. Determines the size and it goes into different categories. Tostion, media alta más tres, media media. Ah, okay. Es un invento colombiano. Tienen que absorber aire. En Medellín hay tostadoras para absorber aire contaminado. Ya. Fresh aire. Fresh café. Fresh coffee, man. <laughs> so this was a family business and many gener a couple of generations back the, uh, the sons went out, they went to the United States, they went to Europe, they studied engineering. When they came back with their newfound knowledge, they came up with this bad boy and this is what gives them the edge. This machine with no additives, everything organic, they can, they can modify and get different aromas, some like chocolate, some acidic. Some next to mate, bit of kit there, and this is why in the middle of this finca, in the, in the arse end of Colombia, they got this bit of kit, and they got the knowledge, and this is what gives Colombian coughs, Colombian coughs the edge. We've been through the whole process, now it's time to make a Colombian coughs. Saludos, mi amigo. Hola, soy la tercera generación cafetera de Colombia, de una montaña llamada Jericó, Antioquia. Los invito a un gran café, café de montaña. Vengan y descubran el verdadero valor de Colombia, un café.